this lesson is Ohm's law that means the relationship between voltage with resistance and voltage with current so far as define Ohm's law is what the current that flows through a conductor is proportional to the potential difference between its end so here the relationship between voltage and current voltage and resistance so potential difference v that equal with currents and resistance currents and resistance when the current when the voltage here increases increases or decreases the current flows through the circuit flows through the wire the current flows through the conductor become increases just come to start from the voltage which is 1.5 here from 1.5 and the current flow through the circuit is 8 milliampere so to be increasing the voltage the potential difference from one to one cell to two cell and at a constant resistance let it to be increasing into two cell that is 1.5 volts and 1.5 volt that become the equivalent which is, which is three volts three volt when the car the voltage drop across the circuit that is three volts and the current through the circuit or the charge flow through the circuit that is 50.8 milliampere that increases that increases from from 8 volt to 8 milliampere to 50.8 milliampere and again to be increased into three cell that is also the current increases to 23.7 milliampere from 50.8 milliampere into 23.7 milliampere at a constant of resistance that is the resistance of the wires is 190 190 uh -huh. so again to be increases the voltage drop that three cell which means six volt the current that flows through the circuit that's in a number that starts 1.6 milliampere here also increase the current the number of the flow of electron the number of the flow of electron or the flow of charge become what increases just again increase the cell 4 up to 5 okay 4 up to 5 here approximately so here 5 cell it gives 7.5 voltage here 3 4.5 6 and 7.5 voltage voltage and the current that flow from flow through the circuit is 39.5 again so here it concluded to what the voltage drop is increases the current flow through the circuit become increases so Ohm's law uh, says that what voltage is directly proportional with current voltage is directly proportional with the flow of current and let's to be make it constant voltage want 1.5 volt and what's the relation what's the relation between resistance and current okay 
let it be increasing two cell okay the two cells that's three volt total voltage is three volt that's constant and let it be increase the resistance of the wire the resistance here continuously increases okay the current that flows through the circuit become decreases here you see from 5 6 to 5 and the resistance is increases from when it is 596 ohm to increase into 653 ohm the current that decreases from 5 milliampere into 4.6 milliampere here also okay when the resistance increases increases when the resistance increases the current that flows through the circuit become decreases decreases okay when the vol the when when the voltage constant the resistance of the wire the wires is decreases and what to be see the current become what increases let it be decrease the resistance from 800 to 700 the current become increases from 3 to 4.3 and again from 700 to 600 okay the current that also increases from 4 to 5 milliampere from 600 to 500 the current also increase from 5 milliampere to what 6 milliampere again from 500 to 400 the resistance that decreases from 500 to 400 ohms the current that flows through the circuit is also increases from 6 to 7.5 here mean here meaning here mean conclude that ohms law that can be dedicated as what at a constant voltage resistance is inversely proportional with current or current is inversely proportional with what resistance at a constant voltage so welcome to the history is about ohms that ohms is a german scientist physicist and scientist that's george ohm 1787 up, up to 1854 who was one of the first to investigate how currents flow into the circuit so the abbreviation of ohm you know the unit of resistance that is ohm that's capital omega which is the abbreviation from ohm there is a letter it is in the greek alphabet called omega so the abbreviation for ohms therefore in the letter of omega which is the capital letter of the greek letter that is omega so students today's virtual lab lesson that is